X. All right, guys, top of the morning. Happy Friday, March 15th. Coming to you excited, full of energy, full of passion, as always, and full of information for you guys. And here's the thing that we're full of this morning is we're going to be full of perspective. I'm going to ask for permission from everybody on this call today. If I have permission to go just a little bit further with everybody on the call, is that cool? Yeah. D do you mind me giving an extra little push or a wake up call this morning? Is that all right with everybody? All right, cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Now, I have an exercise that we're going to go to in just a couple of minutes. You will have to have a pen, piece of paper, and or a calculator, and a calculator, excuse me. If you don't have the ability to do that, come back and do this exercise in just a little bit, because I promise you, it will be an eye opener. It, it, it Every time I do this, it's been an eye opener, and I do this a couple times throughout the year. So I'm going to go to somebody that is not driving right now that I have good audio on. Sarah, I'm actually going to go to you. I don't know if you've done this before. Maybe you have. Maybe it's been a minute, but Sarah um, recently had a baby, and her baby is a genius because her baby was born on November 30th. 2023, uh, but I'm super excited for you, what you're doing, how you're stepping up, how you're showing up in the world, even having a newborn uh, just feels like you just have even more momentum now having a baby and you look amazing. So I want to go over to you, have you take the team out on the field today on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. So hit us with the sentiment. Let's take everybody out in the tunnel and out on the field today. Okay. Yeah. I never really know what to say whenever you do that. Um, but anyway, Good. yeah, no, for whatever reason, you know, this just the beginning of the whole year, I just, you know, have stayed focused. Um, I did a lot of catch up. I took a lot of, um, time off in like October, November to have the baby, which now I completely regret doing that, honestly. Um, but now I'm completely caught up, which is really exciting. Cause now I feel like I actually have time to do things that, you know, I could be creative or just things I haven't done before. Um, so recently, yeah, just sticking to either it's going to the office and doing something um, rather than nothing. Um, so that's just kind of what I've been doing um, this week. Mentally, I've been really focused. Last week was kind of just I was really tired, to be honest, which I feel like is fine. Um, but yeah, just trying to focus more on like weekends, at least one open house a weekend. Yes, <laughs> for fresh leads, but otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know. Mentally, I've just been really good um, doing whatever I'm doing. So I love it. And it seems like it, you know, no matter what, I know it's hard having a newborn, you know, there's so many parents on the call, but you're still showing up no matter what. So you guys, let's get right into this. Before we get started, um, obviously, I want to bring up something that has been the talk of the town. It's going to be continue. It's going to continue to be the talk of the town. And what we did is I just put this into a document. So let me just share my screen really quick with you guys before we get into everything. Um, let me let a few people in. Let me do this. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys really quick. And what I did is I went down the rabbit hole and I wanted to know more and more about this Senate Bill 686, which is proposing that TikTok is banned in the United States of America. Now, uh, there's all kinds of, you know, um, verbiage in this. So what I want you guys to do is I really want you to read this because you're obviously seeing it all over social media. Some of you are creating videos on this. Now, what's important for us to understand is, is why is this actually happening? Now, they say it's because China will take information from us in their adversarial country that may use this information for negative against us. But in hindsight, there's probably tons of Chinese companies that currently have our data across multiple different platforms. Now, it's important that we read this and understand this. Why? Because most of us on this call are content creators. So I want you guys to be able to have this document, read through this document. And if you guys can pick this apart and then do portions of this in a video, I think it would serve so people can understand what this actually is. So Judith did me a solid this morning. And what she did is she just put this entire act into one document. You guys have this, you guys have all of the verbiage, all the nuances, um, when this would actually go into effect, if it did go into effect, so on and so forth. Um, so hopefully you guys find this helpful. Has anybody read through 686 yet? Please take yourself off mute and just uh, let me know because I'm going to post this in the chat. Has anybody read through this, uh, this bill just yet? Anybody? No? Okay. Would you find it helpful if you guys had this? 
Somebody, somebody say something because I'm not on the screen with all the faces. Very. It would be very yeah. helpful. Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. So here's what I want to encourage everybody to do is just take a deep dive into this. Now, I'm not expecting you to get completely political, but I want you to have a stand because we are content creators. We are building a business on social media. Now, I understand it for like adversarial and, and it could be detrimental to like security and safety and all those things. I just think that it's important that we understand the bill and what it actually is. So uh, it's in the chat down below. Grab that, share that with a friend. This is also a great duo uh, video. If you want to just have it on your computer, have a conversation. It's me and Demi and it's me and Hugo. It's me and Blessing having a conversation about 686. I think it's a positive conversation and you guys can share your own opinions. If you're not following Daniela, she the marketing babe she did a great video on this a couple days ago um so i just think that it makes for really good content to give your own opinion and own vantage point so i'm glad that you guys found that helpful let's get right into this so I don't want this to be dark. I don't want this to be morbid. I want this to be a reflection, like I said. And so if you've been with me for any amount of time and keep it moving, I do this about once a year. And I spend a lot of time on the road, so I'm constantly thinking. And now I'm walking so much, so I'm thinking even more. So here's what I want you guys to do. In the chat, or just take yourself off the mute, how long does the average American citizen live? How long does the average American citizen live on average? Now, we're probably going to get a couple different variations or a couple different answers, but go ahead and fill up the chat or just take yourself off the mute. Wow, 65, you, somebody put? <laughs> yeah, that's young. Okay, 72. Okay, wow. 70, 80. Okay. All right, cool. Cool. Let's do this. Um, I've read multiple different articles on this, but let's just say the average United States of American citizen lives to be about 80 years old. Now, my grandfather lived to be 99. He was still smoking a pack of cigarettes today. He had a whole head of white uh, hair, just a grumpy old Italian man at 99 years old. Now, maybe he was uh, obviously a, a miracle. My grandma lived to about 93. So I'm hoping I can live uh, to my 90s. But here's the thing. Stay with me. Let's take the average American lives to be 80 years old. So if you take 80, and here's where I'm going to need you guys to do uh, some writing. Take 80 times 395. And what is the number there? Or 365, excuse me. If we take 80 times 365, what is that number that you guys come up with? I want to make sure that we all have the right math. Go ahead and put in the... Uh, all right, 2,000 or 29,200. We all should have that number. All right, so remember that number. We're going to come back to that in just a second. Now, I want you to take your own age. I'm 44 years old, and I'm going to times that by 365. My number is 16,060, okay? So remember your number. I want you to take your number and minus it from the big number, which was 29,200, right? So my number is 16,060. I'm going to minus that from the 29,200. I'll let you guys do this. And if you have any questions, take yourself off of mute. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page with this exercise. You guys got it? Give me a thumbs up with an emoji on the screen when you got this up. Any type of emoji. I don't care what it is. All right, cool. All right, so please do this. Start putting your numbers in the chat down below. And I'll wait. All right, so 17,000, 18,000, <laughs> 20,000. I love this. 13,000, 17,155, 18,250. Okay, cool. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this conversation. My number, my number is 14,965. And I want to put this into perspective because do this with your parents, do this with the family members that you have that are that are older, because at the end of the day, and, and I try not to get emotional when I do this exercise because it's a really deep in, inward reflection, right? So... Are you going to waste time? 
So many of us say that, oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow, or I put that off, or I'm not going to take that trip, or I'm not going to do that. And I I waste days of my life. When I fucking look at it, I got 14,965 days on an average. I don't have any time to waste. I don't have time to miss a, miss an exercise, to tell my family I love them, to not show up in business, to not work my ass. I don't have the time to waste because every single day that we have on this planet is a gift. It is a privilege. It is an opportunity. And what we do is we waste for whatever reason. We say, I'll do that tomorrow. I put that off for weeks. I put that off for months. Oh, I haven't posted a video for 30 days. What? You're wasting all this time when our clocks are ticking every single day. And so I wrote some notes here. Are you going to waste? Are you going to wait? Are you going to live in regret? Should have, could have, would have? Or are you going to say that every single day that I have is an opportunity for me to contribute, to give, to create, to produce, to enhance, to enlighten, to share some love in this world? Or are you going to allow those days to be wasted? The choice is yours, you guys. And I wanted to put that into perspective because somebody did this live with me. And I wrote it down. And then I wrote my mom's numbers. And if you don't live with your parents, think about this, you guys. Say your parents are 65 years old. My mom is in her 60s. I think she's 64. I maybe see my mom twice a year. I don't know how much longer my mom's going to be around, but maybe I only see her two years, two, four, six, eight, 10. Maybe my mom sticks around for the next 10 years. That means I have 20 more visits with my mom. That's what I get to see. So it's like, I think about these things and I'm like, we sit here and we waste, we waste. And so I want to share that exercise with you. I don't know if that lands. I'd love to hear from you guys to hear where your guys' thoughts are, where your head's at, what your perspective is on your numbers. And please share with me, you guys. I'm going to open the mic up to you guys. Please share your thoughts, sentiment, insight, or dialogue on this conversation. And please do not be shy. Anybody take themselves off of mute and share what their numbers, what they're thinking about, where they're at. Feel free. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Christina. Good morning, guys. Um, Lias, I think you read my mind. My birthday, by the way, is next week. And I was just thinking about this. And I'm like, why am I wasting so much time? I was journaling this morning and going over from January to now. And I'm like, what am I doing? I wrote like, I'm sad. I have not accomplished the things that I thought it would be accomplished by my birthday. So <laughs> thank you for being on the same page and giving me this confirmation of the wake up call. Appreciate that. Well, uh, happy early birthday to you. And listen, I believe that 43 was one of my best years that I've ever had in my life. And I'm trying to make 44 the best year. 43 were so many milestones. And I feel like I'm, my train is not even at full speed right now, Christina. It's not even at full speed. Right. So I appreciate your sentiment. Let's go, Erica. And let's go, Ophelia. Anybody else want to uh, share? Feel free to grab the mic. Let's go, Erica. All right. Good morning, everybody. This was a great opening talk. Um, I was just talking to Tim about this actually the other day when we went on the brokers tour that, you know, um, our elders are getting older and um, time is ticking. You only live once and, you know, do the things that you want to do and try not to waste time. I I like to journal as well, Christina. And when I'm journaling, I like to critique myself really, really hard. But um, critiquing is good, but also like giving yourself some slack because, um, you know, you only live once. You can accomplish the things that you can. But I really enjoyed this talk and it really opened my eyes a little bit. And it's very relatable. Good. I'm glad it lands. And it's really, really, it's, it's, it's straight from the heart. You guys, it's, this is straight from the heart. So I appreciate that. Let's go Ophelia. Let's go blessing. And then we'll start shift gears in the conversation. Let's go Ophelia. And thank you, Erica. And thank you, Christina. Uh, this was a, just confirmation as always. Uh, I was, uh, I don't know how much time I had with my mom and I've been wanting to take her on a trip for the longest time. And thank God this year, I finally did it. I'm, paying for the whole trip we're going to El Salvador I actually leave on Monday <laughs> so I am so stoked I'm going to take her and and just 
spoil her as much as I can, even though she gets on my last nerve. But, you know, it, well, she's living with me right now. So <laughs> just as I was leaving this morning, she was saying something. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, mom, I have to go. And I just took a deep breath. I'm like, I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> and, and here you go and put that number. And I got all emotional. I didn't want to mess up my makeup. And, um, but we're off to El Salvador in a couple right. days. Now. I love that. I love, listen, there's no bag, there's no shoes, there's no suit, there's no chain that will make me remotely as happy as taking my mom on a vacation. I've taken my mom on a vacation three out of the last uh, four years. And the look when mijo, for me, that in itself, I don't give a shit what I do with money throughout the year. I'll drive a fucking bucket as long as my mom is happy. As long as my mom is happy, I'll drive a fucking, I don't care. You pick me up. Who's got a bus pass as long as she's happy. So I love this, Ophelia. Let's go blessing them. We'll shift the gears in the conversation. Yeah, you you said, don't get emotional, don't get dark. And it was one of those moments where I've heard this before. And I think about the fact that I see my parents um, once every two years. So maybe I have 12 more times to see my dad. And as much as he drives me crazy, like I miss him and I, oh my God, I miss my mom. I won't go there. But in that spiral of thinking, why are we waiting? Why, what are you waiting? Like, what are you waiting for? Don't waste time. There's that tendency to beat up on yourself so much. And I ride that line a lot where I am hesitating on certain things. There are some things that I've wasted. There's time that I've wasted. There's things that I could want, like, I, I have the whole list of coulda, shoulda, would have all of that stuff that I beat myself up on, but what I'm embracing, this is my best year ever. Since January 1st, the momentum of what I've been focused on and similar to what Sarah was saying and pushing yourself forward and staying focused, if you focus on the days that you've done everything that you want to, you won't look at what you haven't done as a way to beat yourself up, but to really that momentum to push yourself forward. So this is such a great confirmation of that bamboo season we were talking about the other day, that all those seeds that we're planting, all that work that everyone's doing, the shifting of focus, the mindset, the momentum, all of that is paying off. And it's just the number is now a reminder that your momentum is gonna push you through that. So enjoy what you're doing. Take a, take inventory of the wins and just ride that through. Don't get caught on what you haven't done. Turn that into, let's just go. Let's just go 14, 1, 14,235, whatever the days are, full of joy and just momentum. That's the way we're moving forward with it. Let's go. Let's go. I, I absolutely love this. You guys, and I appreciate you spending this little bit of time doing this exercise. And then if you were driving, come back, do the exercise. And if you watch this in the future, just pause the video and just write this down and get very clear. And it's like I said, it's not meant to be dark. It's meant to be a reflection. So you know what? I do make excuses sometimes. I don't show up or I don't do the things that I know that I need to do. And, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this 75 five day hard. Obviously I want to feel good, but also it allows no room for excuses. None. I don't care how tired I am. It leaves no room for excuses. And you know what? It's leaving no room for excuses for my wife. And now my daughter's doing it. My daughter's on day 12 and she's 19. And like, so it leaves no room for excuses because all of us have missed a workout. All of us have said, I'm not going to read today. All of us have ate shitty food. All of us said, oh my God, I didn't drink any water today. That happens to every single person on this call. I don't care who you are and how fit you are on this call. What this has allowed me to do is say no excuses every single day. I'm going to take action. And I love what it does for me. And I love what it's doing for my relationship. It's even bringing us closer. So a few questions I want you guys to ask yourself, come back to this and, and, and you know, later on. In business, I want to be known as dot, dot, dot. You, you guys can fill that out later. In my family, I want to be remembered for dot, dot, dot. I want my legacy to be dot, dot, dot. And while doing that, and while you're writing, while you're reflecting, while you're brain dumping, I want you to make a list if you haven't, which you probably have, make a list of everyone, everyone in your life that will be impacted by the result of your success. Right? If, if, if I think, man, I only have... 20 more visits with mom, potentially, 
How hard can I work to create a lifestyle to where I can take a month off every single year and I'm fine, right? What does that actually look like? And what does that take from me to be able to have those opportunities? I want you guys to reflect today. Now, before we get in, I'm going to put you guys into some pods in a second or um, chat rooms or whatever they're called, breakout rooms, excuse me. I want you guys to keep a notepad with you. And I've been reading The Compound Effect. If you haven't read The Compound Effect, grab that book. It's an amazing read. Here's, here's a very, very simple approach to, to change some of the habits that you may not like about yourself right now or you want to improve, right? How many of us on this call would like to shed a few extra pounds? And I'm putting my own hand up. That hand's real. That's my hand, right? Um, how many of us would like to have a little bit more money in our bank account? Please raise your hand. Right. How many of us would like to, to make less excuses about the things in our life? Right. And I think we're all we're all we all land on one of those. Right. So here's a simple exercise for everybody to do. Take a notepad, have it in your top pocket like Albert Einstein, have it in your back pocket, wherever it is. Every single thing that you eat, any calorie that you eat, you're at Broker Tour, you get a little muffin, you come into the office, you get some peanuts, you're at the deli, you get a sandwich. I mean, every single little thing, I want you to write it down and I want you to write those calories down and literally do this for a week, do this for two weeks. What you'll find is like, wow, I, did I eat all, I had so many snacks yesterday. Wow. Just imagine if I was to cut out 25% of that, would I potentially, if I did that for the month, maybe lose a pound or two? My guess is probably you would. Our expenses, we are notorious for just spending money, a little bit of money here, a little bit of money here. I got a latte there. I did this. I went out. I had drinks. But like if we're really considering how much money we're spending looking at our expenses, I want you for two weeks to write down on a notepad every fucking cent that you spent, every single thing. Because then when you look at it, then you're going to be like, hmm, did I really need that? I didn't really need that. I definitely didn't need that. And maybe as you reflect and you write that down, say, hmm, maybe I start saying no to some of those things. And if I was to say no to a fraction of those things and I accumulated that over the month, that means that's an extra $200. Does that $200 impact me? Well, absolutely. That's an extra $2,400 for the year. How else can I use that money? Or is that in a savings? Or is that in an IRA? Or is that in a, an account that's growing, buying stocks, whatever it is? So I want you guys to track your expenses. And also, I want you to track your excuses. Have this notepad down. I'm going to make prospecting calls. No, I'm not. I, I don't feel too good. I don't look good. Okay, that's an excuse. I'm going to make some videos today. Woo! Who wants to make a video? You want to make a video? No, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm, I'll do it tomorrow. That's a fucking excuse, right? I'm going to go knock on doors. I don't, I don't really feel good. I don't know what to say. That's an excuse. I was going to get my systems in place. That, and I, you didn't. That's an excuse. Write those down. Because then when you look at that after two weeks, be like, 29 excuses? What? Wait a minute. That's a wake-up call. That's a wake-up call. So if you want to start looking at behaviors, changing behaviors, and changing habits, why don't we just start by simply tracking the habits that you currently have and saying where in that is an opportunity for me to fix, right? Here's a great example. If you want to lose a little bit of weight, if you intermittent fasted for 30 days and you gave up what you would normally eat from nine o'clock at night until one o'clock the next day, say that calorie intake was 500 calories, 500 calories times 30, do you think that you have dropped some excess weight in any, any way, shape or form? Fuck yeah, you have. And you probably feel really good about yourself because maybe there were some things that you're eating past nine o'clock at night because you were watching your show and you had some cookies and they were really good and you love ice cream and oh my God, I love this. I'm sure that happens to all of us. So imagine what that compound effect is over time. So you want to change some behaviors, write your excuses down for two weeks. Write down your expenses for two weeks, every single red cent that you spend. And if you're not spending it actively, you need to check your account every single day to see, hmm, was there anything that was taken out of my account today that maybe I signed up for? Maybe it was something I logged into and I did the trial and now that $9.99 is hitting. That happens to me a lot. 
my wife's like, you signed up for this? I'm like, well, I forgot to, 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 to close it down or whatever, or end the subscription for the trial run. Does that make sense, you guys? I want I, I want to make sure that that lands and that makes sense. Does, does, does that make sense for everybody on this call? Give me some emojis, some reactions, some feedback. Does that land? Okay, cool. Listen, I have an affinity towards chocolate chip cookies. All I've wanted is chocolate chip cookies. All I've said no to is chocolate chip cookies. I love them. I absolutely love them. You ever want to give me something, give me some chocolate chip cookies. But like, I think, like, man, I've been able to, to, to cut a few pounds just because I've been saying no to quite a few things over the last 40 days now doing 75 day hard. So I'm going to end there. Here's what I'm going to do. Or before I end uh, there, does anybody have any feedback, thoughts, contributions on the conversation on that segment of coaching? Um, almond cookies. Okay. <laughs> Are they healthier than chocolate chip cookies? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put you guys into, um, breakout rooms and here's what I want you guys to do because there's power in what each of you guys are doing. We leverage the collective wisdom so we could all gain strength and get better. Here's what I want you guys to do. I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms and I want you to focus on these four categories. We talked about this the other day, but now we're actually going to do the work. I want you to list and share openly with your group what is working and what is missing. So it's working and missing, working and missing. Very simple. Here's the first category. My branding and marketing, what's working, what's missing, right? What's working, what's missing. Very simple. My lead generation right now, what is working, what's getting me the highest amounts of leads right now, and what is missing. Third one, social media, what's working and what's missing. What's working is my daily stories, my last couple reels. What's missing? Me. I'm missing. I'm not visible. I'm not in my videos. I'm not doing the things that I mean. I'm not showing up. People can't hear my voice, can't see my beautiful face. Maybe that's what's missing. And I'm not saying it's you, but if that lands, then that's on you. And lastly, systems. What's working? What's missing? What I want you guys to do is I want you to have a conversation and I want you to go through this list and I want you guys to stay on pace and I want you guys to share because something Timothy is doing might be something that that Mama San is struggling with and vice versa. So having you guys in these small focus groups allows you to open up, talk freely if you're not able to talk on the bigger call like we are. So let's get into these focus groups right now. I'm going to put everybody into breakout rooms. I'm going to assign, let's see uh, how many people. Okay, cool. I'm going to assign, yeah, I'm going to assign 10 rooms here. All right, cool. Uh, everyone clear on the assignment? All right, cool. Could you, could you uh, repeat it again? Just real quick. Who was that? Sorry. Was, uh, could you say the, uh, what was, what were you doing in the breakout rooms? All right. So you're going to do what's working, what's missing. Here's the category. Branding and, mar branding and marketing, what's working, what's missing. Lead generation, social media, and systems. Okay. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to open all rooms. You guys go there, have some fun, have some, some full stream of consciousness and share you guys because this is how we're going to get better as a group. So I'm going to open all rooms. I'm going to throw you guys in there and go do your thing. And down below, you'll see a join button. Um, just join and hop in that room. All right, Marissa, I assigned you to a room. Christian, I think you got a room. Lisa Torres, hop in your room. Uh, Samantha, feel free to hop in any of the rooms. Um, iPhone 13. Christian, you have your room? Okay, cool. Cool. Um, Raj, go ahead and hop in a room. Christian, do you see your room? No? Yeah. Christian, can you take yourself off of mute? Sophia, Raj, uh, let's see, Christian, you're, you're frozen on me.
iPhone 13, can you take yourself off of mute? I don't know who you are. Christian, can you hear me? Hello. Raj, can you hear me? Raj, can you hear me? Raj, 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 you there? So definitely can make that more visible. Elias, I'm on my computer. Generation. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave. Um, okay. Um, okay. So like in 10 minutes, I'm going to take my phone with me in the bathroom so I can get ready. Okay, so just clo close this one. Close this one. Um, can I still keep it open? Okay. All right, cool. Because when I go and use the, uh, go, when I go get ready, I'm going to take my phone. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sorry. No worries. Um,
What's up, Jay? How are you? What up, big dog? I'm going to move you into a room, okay? Uh, let's you. see. All right, hold on really quick. I'm going to put you in room four. And go ahead and just join that. You see how to do that, Ricky? Ricky, you're frozen. And you know what? I'm going to do things independently, and I'm going to do it both. And if I put out a song, instead of me saying that this song is $9.99, let me...
What's up, Otis? Damn, I accidentally kicked myself out. Of- <laughs> You're muted. Me too. I, I was, I was mid sentence and I kicked myself out the room. Damn, you too. I was hitting fire too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I like that sweater, bro. I got the same one, but it's a button up. Yeah, bro. It's with the bill. They got a big meet. We got a big meeting in the office today. Kenny and I have got uh, two people coming in. So how to how to dress up a little bit. Positive vibes. Yeah, bro. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to tag you in this video that I just got back up. I'll, I'll tag you in it. Otis, you were on a roll, man. You just you just cut out. <laughs> I, so I closed the rooms. And so it gives everybody 60 seconds. But Otis said he just he removed himself on accident. <laughs> But nonetheless, I think we got some positive stuff. I'll get everyone's feedback in just a moment. Uh, let it, all right, here, everyone's back, I think. Let me give it a little bit more time. More people are coming in. More people are coming in. Look at all your smiling faces. Sorry if it cut you guys off. I don't know. I can't hear what you guys are saying in the room. So um, sorry if it cut you guys off. Um, sorry, Raj. Uh, yeah, let's talk after. All right, cool. All right, so it's nine seventeen. What I want to do is I want to go around to a couple of the groups and want to hear what you heard, and then what were some of the things that maybe somebody in your group said that maybe you want to implement into your own game, into your own flow. So let's go first off. Let's go to Marissa. Marissa, can you speak? I don't know where you're at. Can you? You have the ability to speak? Yes, I do. I'm just making cool. some green pancakes for my son over here. Wait, what's a green pancake? I'll show you. It's literally just a green. Uh, how do you get a green though? It's for St. Patty's Day. For oh, Patty's you, Day. What do you put? Do you put food coloring in it? Yeah, just a little bit. All right, all right, cool. All right, let's hear it. So, tell me what you heard from the group. Um, and is there something that you said? You know what? Mm, I could, I could put that into my own flow. Let's hear from you. Yeah, so they actually, um, I was the last one to talk and they were giving me advice as a new agent just to uh, pretty much, I told them that the last few days since I got started, or not the last few days, but since I got started, um, I've been kind of off putting putting out reels and saving them to my drafts and um, wanting to edit them and look back at them and just focus on nine to five and all these other things in my life. And on Wednesday, I finally was just, just like you said, I was just like, what am I waiting for? Like, what am I really waiting for? There's nothing that I'm really waiting for. And I finally just put out a reel on Wednesday. Then I put out another one um, yesterday and I was able to edit one for to put out today. So I'm on a roll. So, I I mean, I'm yes. in this meeting and it, it literally feels like this was meant to be on this meeting today because that's exactly how I felt on Wednesday. I was just like, there's really nothing I'm waiting for. Let me just do it. God, I love this, Marissa, and and you're you're absolutely right. Um, I love that for you, and I love that you're out there creating, and and um, I appreciate that. I appreciate that at a very high level. Let's go, Tim. Tim, were you in a separate group than Marissa? Uh, yes. All right. Let's hear some contributions from you. What were some things that you heard, and what's one thing that you feel that like you could put into your own flow? And by the way, I had no idea that you had this musical background. N- no idea at all. Okay. Now that I know it, bro, I'm 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 subscri- I'm liking and subscribing the button, bro. The you chopping that beat and like how you were doing it in the hi hat and the snare, all the bro. That's like my love language. Dude. That that video was straight fire. So great job to you, my man. Let's go. Share with us. Appreciate it. Right on. So uh, in our group, we had um, Michael. He's uh, about to join the team, waiting for his DRE. Uh, and then we had Lisa and then Jessica. Um, so, yeah, we just kind of talked about, like, what works for us uh, since we have a bunch of newer agents in the team in that group. And then, um, yeah, so Jess was talking about how she has uh, her social media plans. She's trying to post, like, five reels a week. Um, she has the... Uh, um door knocking down she's got uh that's something new she's trying to do um so she's found some success with it uh and then yeah just like kind of figuring out like ways we can work off of the existing plans we've set up for, for ourselves and how to improve from it um because i feel like uh having the plan in the first place is good and then you want to like improve what you have in your workflow and see what's working for you so for me like i'm actually not even there yet like i don't have i didn't tell myself, hey, I'm going to post like this many videos a week. Um, I, I have like, I'm going to do open houses every weekend. I'm going to do phone calls and I'm going to do door knocking. Uh, but social media isn't something that I like had something planned for yet. So I want to get there and then see how I can improve from there. 
Yeah. You know, here's the thing, man, like you are, whatever you did in the booth the last couple of times, it felt organic. <clears throat> so some people have a social media plan. Some people don't, as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. As long as when you turn on the mic, you have an idea of what you're going to say in that moment, like the video you did with the music, bro, that shit landed. That shit landed. Um, some people need to plan it out. I personally don't. Kenny doesn't. Um, but as long as it's consistent, that's all that matters. So I love that. Let's go to uh, Mama San. Mama San, let's hear from you um, some things that you heard from your group and what's one thing that you feel that you can implement in your own game. Uh, okay, hey. Um, but Oh, so marketing, branding, uh, Sylvia was in my group, Marissa and Natalie. Um, background and uh, color. So still, we were talking about Sylvia's her branding, she's Sylvia, the red, the red agent, right? So, and she's always wearing red, but today she's wearing blue. So I was like, hey, Sylvia, you're wearing blue today. Interesting. But in my mind, she's, she's, and she's conditioned people to think, okay, I'm the red agent. But today I was like, hey, you're in blue. So one thing is marketing yourself, having something special um, or, you know, something that stands out. That's cool. Um. Oh, and... Uh, no, ex not to have any excuses. Um, Marissa was in my group. She was talking about doing reels and how she's going to do them more. And I was like, excuse more, excuse number one. And oh, I'm going to do it Wednesday. Oh, excuse number two. So I was saying, just don't think about it. That's the one thing I've learned. Don't think, oh, I'm going to record it now. I'm going to, I'm going to make it look cute and pretty later. And I'm going to send it you, nine times out of 10. You don't send it later. Just do it now. Don't think about it. That's that's what we took away, or I took away. Man, I love this. I love this. And Mama San, let me just ask you a question while I have you. If there was one system that's currently working for you right now, what is it? And what's one system, or what's the system that um, it 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 uh, it's uh, it needs improvement? Let's go there. Uh, systems uh, has worked this year really for me is tracking. Uh, this is the second time this year. We're in March that I was in uh, Hustlers Lunch, and guys were rewarded for you know, just tracking. So track and it really, sh and it's, it's for ourselves, right? We want to see what we're doing, how we can improve. Um, so it's there for us. Uh, what's missing? And it feels good being celebrated, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. And what's missing? I don't want to have any excuses, so I don't want to say there's anything missing. Okay, good. Awesome. <laughs> we're moving on. Listen, in regards to your systems, here's a non-negotiable for, for everyone on this call. These two systems need to be operating at the highest level. Real Scout, follow a boss. Live there. I promise you guys, when you live, follow a boss, Real Scout, everything gets better. You have a better way to communicate and a better way to, to convert and a better way to, to communicate overall with your consumers and track everything. Let's go, Otis. Otis had your hand up, and I think that might be one of the last contributions. Let's go, Otis. Um, we had a really good talk. I had Erica, I had Champ, uh, and Shally in, in our group, and then uh, Ricky came in on the back end, and I and I was shooting some fire, but then I, I cut out early. But um, for them being newer agents, um, you know, they all had some really great ideas, and they seemed so energetic and still, you know, to the, to the T on what they need to fix and what and what's working with them. Um, Erica brought up about stories, and I said, you know, I, I kind of feel 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 where you're coming from. Stories are, are the day to day where people see see you as a real person. They don't just see you as hi, I'm such and such with Team Fast. They get to see you after that camera is, is off and, and, and what you're doing and your lifestyle. Like you mentioned, even talking about working out and everything, you can relate so much in your stories. My stories do so well. That's why I always like lived in them for the last few years. So I'm trying to transition from somebody from getting away to that to get on the benefit of reels and showing my personality and skits and stuff like I've been doing over the few last few days because I do that shit on a normal. I just don't feel myself doing it in such certain things. But um, they all brought up really good points in that. And I was trying to bring up, you know, you got to do like my boy D says, work until it works, like figure out what's working for you. And I told him how I went on a whole year and didn't get anything. And I had to kind of peel back and finally look at like what's working for me. And it was the online leads and partnerships. And I said, that's why I'm so heavy on partnerships. Cause if it wasn't for Mark Otis on my fourth deal with that client showing over a hundred some houses in four months, going through all the, all the appointment settings, learning how to really book appointments and looking into the MLS systems and learning about that and co-ops and reports and everything. I learned so much with those deals. I think I, that's why I was able to go off on such a good uh, rocket is just because 
I learned so much on those deals. So partnerships and and uh, online stuff is still running good for me. So that's that's kind of what's still working for me. What's not working is the follow up. So I've been working on that. I got a good chance to really start getting into some process since I was hurt. Um, so I'm trying not to let the challenge of me walking, letting that still lag. So I'm, I'm, I'm tightening up on that real tough. Man, I love this. And listen, shout out to you. And, 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 and look at this. So Otis made a video about all the things that we think about when we're trying to create content, right? Like all the ideas. And I'm like, oh, is this going to be good? Or is this going to be good? Like literally that video hit. And when you think about, look at this, look at the analytics. So it was liked a hundred times. And when you look at some of, even this beautiful baby, that had more obviously, but 46 here, 85 here, seven, this one had 101. Why? Super relatable to every single person that's creating content. Now, my question to you, Otis, give me your analytics of how many times this video was saved or shared. Take yourself off of mute, go there right now. Otis, can you hear me, bro? I got you. Hold on. Give me a second. I had to steal. I had to steal. I had to steal, steal the phone back. All right. And here's here's what I want you to do, Otis. Go back in and reply to every single person that left you a message on this. Don't leave them hanging. Got you. All right. What's your analytics? Uh, let me see. 1,300 plays, 101 likes, 15 comments, four reposts, and two saves. Perfect. That's a that's a really good performing video. Um, and, and all it was was him behind the scenes of what we all go through creating content. So good stuff. Let's do this, you guys. Let's get a couple key takeaways before we close the room. Let's go, Stephanie. Let's hear from you. Key takeaway from our time together today. And then we'll go, Hugo, key takeaway from you. Hi, so key takeaway from today is to work on my branding, to focus on what's missing. Um, getting my face out there. I do a lot of posts. I get a lot of engagement from my, I'm sorry, a lot of stories. I get engagement from that, but I need posts. I need to be in my videos. Um, so I'm definitely going to work on that. I love the idea of picking like a color scheme or I'm sorry. Uh, um, yeah, right. Like a color kind of like your, um, for your branding, right. Doing that. Um, and then also, we talked about a my group lead generation. So I want to partner with other industries, business partners from other industries to try to create more lead gens that way. Yes, I love this. I love this. Um, and you know, a good person to follow to get some inspiration for color pattern, ideas for aesthetic flow, if you're thinking about that, if you don't already, I'm sure you do, Stephanie, is, yeah. is Dominique. Right, Dominique just has, as you can see, it has a very, very posh feel. It's very classy. Um, it's her, it represents her, her family, her style. Um, you know, she's to own a boutique, so she's into fashion. And it really shows through all of her covers. I think that she does a really, really good job at, at building this imagery and this brand on all of her videos that she does. And it takes time. Like every single one of them has some type of cover that fits for the format of Instagram. So um, good stuff, Stephanie. I love how you're gonna take action on that. Let's go, Hugo. Last takeaway from our sesh today. Yes, sir. So my, my main takeaway was kind of, you know, putting both the reflection that we had in the breakout rooms, uh, putting those reflections of what we're doing and what's missing with the amount of days that we have left, you know? So equals, hey, no excuses, just get to work, get it done. I love it. I love it. Good stuff. And um, Joel, um, do you have something that can be less than a minute, my man? It's a quick contribution because we're right at time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I just had a conversation with Mark. Uh, he was really helpful. He just told me, hey, you need to go to the business and talk to them and say, hey, uh, I know maybe sometimes uh, you don't, you know, make the taxes, but I have uh, a loan program that can help you to buy a home. So that was a really good advice because sometimes, you know, I know many Latino um, uh, markets or many Latino um, <clears throat> stores, and I know they are available to buy a home or something like that. So that was a really, really good advice. Here's a, I have a challenge for you this week, Joel. I want you to create um, a video in Spanish. 
create create video in English, but I want you to create a video in Spanish. That's your nat native tongue. I need to see more of that. And so, that's for anybody on the call that speaks dual languages. Speak more um, in your native tongue. And I promise you those videos will trend because it speaks directly to that type of audience and they instantly connect with you because of language. So you guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for just being present. You guys hold me accountable. You guys help me raise my own bar. And I will always, always make sure that I'm showing up for you guys, showing up for this industry. But most importantly, I'm showing up for myself. I'm showing up for myself in the biggest way so I could be better for you, be better for my wife, be better for my family and live this life that I truly, truly desire that I want to live. So you guys, thank you for being a part of this. As always, keep it moving toward your dreams, goals, and vision, and have an amazing weekend. Peace!